You're now at six weeks post joint replacement and you should be going fairly well by now. Starting to resume more ordinary daily lifestyle activities with much more ease. We're not expecting at this stage yet you're by any means fully recovered. So there still will be some aspects of your conditioning and recovery that you'll be working with your physiotherapist to try to improve. But suffice to say is that you should be going fairly well at this point. Most people at this stage have discontinued the use of their walking aids. Some people will still be using a single stick in the opposite hand, um, and that's okay if you are. We would generally be seeing that people would be weaning their walking aids uh, around about this time. Certainly, you're able to now return to all ordinary daily pursuits. So, starting to go for longer walks, um, do your own shopping, um, driving vehicles, those sorts of things. Most people have returned to work sometime before the six week appointment. What you can very safely do at this stage is ordinary daily pursuits. So people would have a variety of different activities that they would ask me, can I start participating in? Uh, and my answer to them is, if it falls under the category of an ordinary daily pursuit that most people or many people would participate in, then that's, that's perfectly fine. You can start to resume those activities at this stage when you're feeling confident. So people might ask, can I go for um, longer walks? Can I walk on a bush trail? Uh, can I, for instance, go to the beach? Can I walk on the sand? Can I go for a swim in the surf? Um, can I do these sorts of pursuits? Can I start riding a bike? And the answer is all of those fall under the category of ordinary daily pursuits. So you do not have to withhold from those pursuits at this stage now. Um, if you have any questions, um, if there's something that you're a little uncertain about, um, please give us a call. Or alternatively, what you might do is you might speak with your physiotherapist as to whether or not they feel that you're at the point of recovery, which is suitable for you to be able to re-engage in the pursuit that you're asking about. Although all ordinary daily activities are permitted at this stage, I do want you to withhold from some pursuits for the first six months after surgery. Now the reason why that's important is that it just takes time for the bone to be able to grow onto the metal surfaces of the implants. And uh, although your muscle recovery might be going quite well, it still takes time for them to be able to get strength and endurance to be able to support the joint. And we want to be able to keep you in some form of protected state while those two processes occur. So the sorts of things that I don't want you to do involve impact pursuit. So things like uh, running and uh, those involving um, jolting of the joint, for instance, tennis and things like that. I, I would prefer that you withhold that for the first six months. Any activities that might involve uh, a risk of having a fall, for instance, mountain bike riding um, over uneven terrain, uh, horse riding, um, particularly um, in the first number of months where there may be a risk of a fall that could injure your hip whilst it's still in the healing process, um, should probably be withheld for, uh, for a good period of time. The other thing that I don't want you to do is to do deep stretching activities. And the reason being is that although your hip feels um, stiff at this stage. That's quite normal. You've had hip arthritis for many, many years and the musculature around the hip joint has um, become shortened and it has got a, a lower range of motion. Um, the, um, it takes, takes time for those muscles to to get flexible. The joint will allow it to do that. So the artificial joint replacement will allow your hip to move more freely, but the musculature around the hip joint at the moment isn't stretchy enough to allow that to occur. So um, I don't want you to push that stretching at this stage because the wound um, around the hip joint is still healing and I don't want you to disrupt any um, normal wound healing at this stage, which excessive stretching can do. So um, really in the longer term, we don't really see too many people after joint replacement of the hip, that is having too many problems with stiffness. So um, really there's not much gain in doing deep stretching activities, particularly in the early period. And so 
um, forceful stretching, particularly where you have somebody else stretching you, um, really should be avoided. If you have any questions, please feel free to ring the office, um, make an appointment, come on in um, and we can assess you um, and give you some recommendations.